Lihat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chemical Reactions. I'm Chuck. I'm Raf. Welcome back to Female Fronted Fridays, our series where we explore female fronted bands. So the warning has been probably one of the most constantly requested bands that we haven't done yet, pretty much since day one. Almost, I feel like a bit of a cult following. Uh, always very long comments about why we should react to them. So we figured, let's do it now. You know, you know what? Let's do it. It's been long enough. And I have to say, my hesitancy was so I, I did hear their uh, cover of uh, Enter Sandman, like I think a few years back. You know, it, it, it was a it was a cover of Enter Sandman. I'm not gonna say I was particularly impressed. You know the. They were kids who were doing rock and roll, so I'm all for that. But, I mean, in terms of musicianship, this was not exactly, you know, uh, Alien Weaponry or even Silverchair or uh, Morbid Angel, right? It's a bit more of a, you know, budding musician. So, figure, you know what, let's give them a chance. Let's go a few years later. The song we're going to do is Dust to Dust, live at Lunario CDMX, which I think is in Mexico. Link will be in the description below if you want to watch it for yourself. Let's go. Alright, they're definitely older. Sorry for the quick pause, but I think from the cover, I remember the guitarist was the one singing. Yeah. Looks like now they switch a bit of a switcheroo. I think that they all have mics. They might just still all be singing. Maybe. It looks like the lead vocalist is now the drummer, which is pretty cool. You don't see that many bands where the uh, lead vocalist is the drummer. Mostly so far, because of problems performing live when you're... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always a bit harder. But so far, you can see the level of maturity uh, definitely higher than Enter Sandman. So I like it. That's a good hook so far. Let's keep it going. I like the glittery drums. Definitely better musicianship. I feel like this is a pretty studio sounding life performance. Yeah. And you can you can tell it's it's live. They sound pretty good. Nice, nice drumming. Who's that? Is that the dad? I 
I'm not sure what he's doing there, but sure. Good compared to the mediocre sounding Enter Sandman. Yeah, I mean you can tell they have a bit of a like better production. Obviously, like I think they had like roughly like four more years to to uh, you know get better at their craft, which for girls their age, that's a lot. I don't know how long they had played before they did that Enter Sandman cover. I am assuming not that long because. You know, they look like they were like twelve, and uh, maybe like the yeah, the guitarist. youngest girl looks the bassist. She looks like yeah, really yeah, young. yeah, 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 yeah. The bassist looked like a little girl. You know, the and guitarist maybe even more of a like teenager, but um, well, yeah, they were pretty young. So four more years to develop your craft, that is huge. And clearly now they're sounding sounding like a much more polished band, much better production behind them. I don't know what the dad or whoever it was, what he was doing on stage. It didn't make me, it didn't make the performance better. Maybe he's part of the song, like in the actual. I don't song. know. You can barely hear him, and um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who he is. I could have gone without him, but um, the drummer. I think if I had to say like MVP on this band, it's probably the drummer. She, Pretty solid drummer. Like, honestly, she had some pretty solid fills. She's singing while drumming, which is always a feat I never could quite understand. I have trouble playing guitar while, while singing, so, you know. I think you, you have trouble playing guitar on well, I, So I'm not great at guitar, but I would, I would start, I would try to sing while playing guitar. Both my singing would go down and my guitar playing would go down, so I'm not quite there. Um... <laughs> but but yeah, but I, I liked it. I liked it. You know, it's, it's nice. It's nice to see some, you know, some uh, some some youngsters to come in and join the the metal game. You know, like you know, in the U.S. Like we have the Hammerhead band. Hammerhead. Yeah, the 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 like three boys. Oh yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. I think I saw I saw like a minute of them like on YouTube or something. Yeah, yeah it could be another one we could do. Yeah, like, you know, U.S. has Jonas Brothers and Mexico has The Warning. So, <laughs> a set of three siblings. I don't know. I, I think I prefer The Warning. They're doing a good job. I was, uh, I was saw this song. Nice hook. Catchy. Um, you know, solid riff. It's just still, it's, it's a bit basic, right? They're not at the tool level yet. I don't think we can expect them to be. But in terms of being able to create some catchy riffs, I I mentioned Silver Chair at the beginning, right? Because Silver Chair was another one of these, you know, teenagers who kind of conquered the world, at least the alternative world in the '90s, with very simple songs but catchy as hell, great hooks. I think they're pretty much at that level. Yeah, it was also like simple riffs. I think they're pretty much at that level, so yeah, good, good for them. Okay, so hey, come on in, walk this way, look what I have prepared to show you. Let me show you how things can quickly unfold in the end. Everything just turns back 
turns back into dust to dust, our bones will rust, and we start and we shall start again, dust to dust, our bones will rust, and we shall start again. I think that's the chorus. Yeah, yeah, that was the chorus. Hey, where are you going? Don't trust all that you hear. Now take it and behold, I don't seek right or wrong. I see the truth found in death. It goes hand in hand with remorse, remorse is something that is worth losing, worth pursuing. Yeah, so I guess an exploration of death. It's been like at first I thought it was just like about some like a f- a fight that was about to break out like yo I'm gonna fight you yeah <laughs> like how things can quickly unfold yeah I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of reading this as a bit of a like encounter with the Grim Reaper you um, know that's just, I, I don't know that's the way I'm reading it it's like I feel like the person speaking would be the Grim Reaper because I don't think anybody exactly. can challenge them yeah exactly like Grim Reaper coming in. You know, and every in the end, everything just turns back into dust to dust. So you know, I, that's kind of the way I'm reading this. I don't know. It's the Grim Reaper versus a soul trying to stay alive. Yeah. Oh, and being then very there's stubborn. I didn't notice the the Spanish verse. Hermano, la salvación es algo que se gana. Suelta tu mano del rencor y despierta a una nueva luz dentro de ti, aunque tus hermanos intenten sumerte en la oscuridad. I feel like that's something we should probably do a bit of a Google Translate with. Uh, I have a bit of Spanish. Let me let me let me try my own version. Hermano, la salvación. That means uh, brother, salvation. Es algo que se gana, like something about winning. Suelta tu mano del rencor y despera un valor. Uh, something about the hand of of rancor and despair is a uh, new light. Dentro de ti, aunque tus hermanos, something about your brothers. This would be to very me- sad if you're completely butchering it. I <laughs> and- <laughs> Intenten to meter in la obscuridad, like something about getting into darkness. All right, I as I was probably rough. I am kind of sticking to my to my Grim Reaper, uh, you know, uh, explanation for for what this means. Cool song, cool song. I'm glad I listened to it personally. Yeah. Or else you would have just thought of this band like the. Yeah, Those the, kids that made a popular YouTube video. Yeah, you know, a bit gimmicky, but, you know, cool. They're teenage girls and they're doing Metallica. Um, but yeah, uh, this was a pretty legit original, so that's great to see. That is great to see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think for me, this is probably, I'll give this an 85, you know? I'll give it an 89. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's definitely a band that I would like to keep on my radar. See what they're, you know, uh, what they what have you, come like, in, you know. Maybe even just one more year. To yeah. Do. Yeah, yeah. Like in in ten years, this could be a, a very solid, very well developed band that you know could come up with some great things. So yeah, enjoyed it. What do you guys think? So I'm assuming that many of you had heard this before, especially those of you who keep recommending it. But I'm assuming a whole bunch of you are probably a bit more like me and kind of maybe heard that Enter Sandman cover and hadn't heard anything from them since. So for those of you who are in that same situation I was, what do you think about this new original by them? It may not be new. I'm saying new, but at least new to me. What do you think about it? Metal Tomatoes rating for this one. And as always, keep bringing those suggestions of what we should do next. That's how we get 100% of it, of what we do on this channel. And then if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and joining our community over here. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. We will see you next time on our next video.